What we're trying to do is to offer families the chance to do what they feel is ethically right. I'm Shane McKee, I'm a doctor in genetic medicine and I regard the technological advances that we've made over the past 10 to 15 years as being a tremendous blessing and a wonderful thing that we can bring to bear to try and help individuals and families either affected with or at risk of severe genetic disorders to live and reproduce as normally as possible. I think it's very important to make a distinction between the, uh, the, the efforts that we make to try and prevent a child being born with a severe genetic disease and the notion that we're somehow against disabled people. Whenever you think about families who are already faced with the problem of looking after a disabled child, if you introduce another disabled child into the equation, a second or a third, then that is an added burden on that family and it actually detracts from the care that they're able to offer to their first child or the second child. So I think it's very important that we put this all in context. If you were trapped inside a burning in vitro fertilization clinic and you had to had a four-year-old child in one room and you had a vat full of embryos in another room, I think most people would save the child first. And that's because I think innately we know that a child is of more value than the egg that leads on to a child. In fact, I would find that the reduction of the, the value and the joy of human life down to something that you could fit inside a single egg cell is to be something slightly demeaning. Mm -hmm.